Akan has the largest mines in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Akan, the Senegalese R and B singer, who has a long list of amazing tracks known to most of us. For sure, Akan retired from the music industry some years back, but it can't be certain if he went off to Fiji to enjoy the wealth he acquired from his music career. There has been out of speculation about Akan since his retirement. Some people even say he's doing charity work in Africa. He has taken upon himself to invest huge amounts of his fortune in some amazing projects in Africa like the Akan City. Of this amazing projects, we will be talking about the mines he purchased in the DRC. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you are African and you aren't subscribed, yet you are missing out. Akan signed a deal to finance a copper and cobalt mine in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in a joint venture with the country's mining ministry. In the contract, Akan, whose legal name is Elion Damola Padara Akan Fayam, stated that he signed it on December 14, 2020 through his United States registered company, White Waterfall LLC, where he also serves as president and CEOs. The signed contracts obligate White Waterfall to pay a $2 million signing bonus and to fund a feasibility study for the establishment of a kimono reserve in the province of Hokotango, among other things. Investing in mining companies that are not publicly traded is the focus of Wide Waterfall, a private equity fund based in London, according to the company's website. Akon, the Senegalese-American singer who had a hit single in 2006 who later went on to launch a number of business and philanthropic ventures throughout Africa. In recent years, Akon has invested in several projects, including a $6 billion futuristic city in Senegal. The 47-year-old is also the creator of a cryptocurrency, which he claims will be used to power Akon City. In the opinion of Akon, the futuristic city will bring in tourists and generate thousands of jobs in the West African country where it is located. Furthermore, the US-based company KE International has said that it plans to begin work on the $6 billion smart city early this year, according to the company's website. The Democratic Republic of Congo is Africa's leading copper producer and the world's leading producer of cobalt, which is used in electric car batteries. According to a 2009 report, the Democratic Republic of Congo is estimated to have over $24 trillion in untapped mineral deposits, including the world's largest copper reserves and significant quantities of cobalt. Although poverty has decreased slightly over the past few decades, particularly in rural areas, according to the World Bank. Because of this new development from Akan, many people in the Democratic Republic of Congo are optimistic about the future of the country, as well as the creation of new jobs in the country. Today, we'll take a look at the most recent investment into the African continent, which was made by the American singer Akan. If you recall, Akan recently made a tempting $6 billion investment in Senegal and recently he has invested another $2 million US dollars on the African continent through specifically in mines in the DRC. We are, once again, referring about the Democratic Republic of the Congo due to its rich mineral resources. Many individuals, though, may wonder why this particular artist keeps returning to the continent and investing money again and time again. When it comes to this particular venture, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a vast country that has lately seen significant transformation. Most recently, 
the government has attracted a large amount of international investment and attempted to modify the country's natural environment in order to give itself a cobalt mining in coal and copper will offer the country a boost in terms of international recognition and investment when we talk about this particular company. We're discussing about we're talking about a contract to fund a copper and copper mine in the Democratic Republic of the Congo with an American Senegalese musician and R&B sensation. According to our investigation, based on the papers we examined, it is a joint venture with the state miner. They have also decided to make Africa one of their investment destinations, having nominated an artist recognized for his hit recordings. His most recent ventures include a vast variety of enterprises as well as charity endeavors throughout Africa in recent years. This includes the Georgia study, which we just stated, as well as cryptocurrency, also known as a coin is theory, which is included into COCO. However, once again, the mining sector is represented by a company registered in the United States, White Waterfall LLC, which serves as a president in this particular firm. It is important to understand that the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, has a massive population of over 80 million people at this particular time, and that the capital and largest city in the country speaks several languages, including French, which is the official language, and it also has several other languages, such as Gala and Congo Lingua Franca, which is found in, in Central Africa and sometimes includes Swahili. Moving ahead, it is important to recognize the enormous investments made by Americans in Iraq. There are some wonderful resources in DRC that need a lot of work to find different. Many mineral sources such as gold, diamonds, cobalt, zinc, and many others. That is a lot of different mining minerals found in one particular African nation. One of the most recent contracts that Akan signed was as recently as December of 2020 which means that it was just a year ago. The question that many people have asked is why this particular place. Specifically, the hotel zone in question is a large territory that has evolved with years. This magnificent African nation, which has revolutionized the country, is now going forward with such investment opportunities for investors in this particular area of interest. We have seen the reason why the coal-fueled government is beginning to take shape and is changing the face of DRC. Simply creating jobs for the local population is one thing. However, pushing forward to alter the entire country and ensure that Congo becomes one of the largest investments the world has ever seen is another. We, on the other hand, are competitors. We are beginning to see superstars like this in a variety of investment areas. Nevertheless, the fact that they are investing in this area has gotten some traction in the market. We hope to see more investments in the DRC in the near future. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family, give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow. Watch what you do, watch what you say, 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 watch what